So you've got one of these, you've got one of these, you're out to dinner, you're at a date, and you don't know what to do next. So I'm going to show you exactly how to drink wine, enjoy wine, and look cool while you're doing it. So stay tuned, Wine by the Bay TV. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Wine Mother Bay TV. I'm your host, George Bachara. Um, today we are doing a, another how-to video. We did one on opening uh, wine bottles with a corkscrew. We did one on opening a wine bottle with an osso. Uh, now we're gonna talk about how to actually drink the wine, okay? So unless you're a sommelier, you're probably a normal person kind of trying to figure out life. And um, opening up and drinking wine is kind of a pain in the neck to learn. But once you learn it, it's actually really, really good. Now, I know everybody by the age of 21 knows how to like pick up a beverage and drink it. That's not the point here. The point is to actually enjoy the wine, not just shove it down your throat and then hope it goes down fast. So um, I've taken a wine here. This is a La Reserve Saint Dominique from Bacre 2020. Okay, I'll cut in a little picture for you. Uh, this is from the uh, Southern Rhone region, but the Northern part, it's gonna be a little bit more rustic. So we're gonna have a little taste of this wine. Uh, this one was uh, came to me from Vinus Reverie. I'll put a link in the description box below, give you a price and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but I did want to go ahead and get into this wine. And first thing you got to do, and by the way, I am talking about doing this in a restaurant, okay? Or, you know, at a romantic dinner or whatever. The whole goal here is to drink wine, enjoy the wine, and look good doing it, okay? That's the whole idea. Especially for those of you that are single out there, and you might be single sometime soon. Uh, this is a perfect way to kind of sharpen your skills and to look good on a date uh, when you go out with a lady or a gentleman, whatever the case is. Uh, so you look like you know what you're doing, you actually do know what you're doing, and then you can go ahead and uh, show some confidence when you're at the dinner table, okay? So first thing you want to do is look at the wine, okay? You want to look and see the color, make sure it's not like super brown if it's a light wine. If it's brown, it's probably turned. Um, and then you just want to be... All right, by the way, um, sniffing the cork. The thing that you wanna do when you look at cork is you wanna check to make sure that there's no bleed down the cork. Okay, that can show that the, that the cork is compromised. And I don't mean just a little bit on the edge. I'm talking about all the way down. Uh, that's kind of a problem. Also, if the cork is dry, that also could be an indicator. It should have some give to it when you press it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, when you press it, it should have some give to it. Okay, and then it should have some give on the top. That's what the cork should feel like, okay? So once you've, you know, once you've done that and you've approved the wine and so on and so forth, you're just drinking it. First time you look, you wanna just kind of look at it, make sure it looks good color-wise. And then the main thing is you wanna smell it, okay? I know the idea of this video is to drink wine, but to truly appreciate wine, you do have to smell it. You get so much more enjoyment out of wine if you take a minute and just take a whiff and really get your nose in there. So first thing you wanna do, and again, this is not sommelier's guide to tasting wine. This is a regular person out to dinner, not trying to be a big shot, just trying to look good, trying to impress your date, trying to pretend like you have a little bit of class, a little bit of upbringing. So you don't look like you belong, you know, at the zoo down the block like I did for many, many years until I learned how to drink wine properly. So, okay, so I've looked at it, the color looks good. Now you wanna get your nose all the way in there, guys. All the way, and you wanna take a deep breath, okay? You can do quick sniffs or you can do a deep, long breath. But the idea is to kind of get those, um, get those aromas into your nose, get them started. So that'll give you a better opportunity to taste more when you actually drink it. So step one, look at the color. Step two, nice big smell. Step three, drink the wine. Okay, now, obviously, if you just put it down your throat like this, you drank it, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, but now you've just tasted grape juice. You don't know what it tastes like. You have no idea what you just bought. Typically, wines are anywhere between, you know, 75 and $375 on a wine list, depending on how fancy you get. So the idea is to enjoy the wine. So in order to do that, you want to take the wine and you want to swirl it around your mouth a little bit. Okay, you want to try and get it in the front of your teeth, 
up towards the back of your palate before you swallow it, okay? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And almost kind of chew on it. I know, it takes a little longer than you might expect. But if you really wanna appreciate wine, you gotta swirl it around, you gotta chew on it, you gotta make sure it gets in both cheeks gets into the front of your teeth and then goes all the way down that way you can assess the flavor you can assess the secondary flavors you can assess the alcohol to see if it's uh, very alcoholic if it's hot all these things uh make up the components of like the full wine experience otherwise like i said you're just drinking grape juice with some alcohol in it um there's no reason to spend you know 100 plus dollars on that so if you do that you're going to taste a lot more I'm not going to tell you what I'm tasting here. This is not a wine tasting uh, video. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon. That way you know about when we're dropping every new episode of Wine Better Day TV. We do restaurant reviews. We do uh, how-tos. And we do, of course, wine reviews. So uh, don't forget to hit the little bell icon. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. Any other how-to videos. Uh, we're constantly doing uh, new stuff. So please leave your uh, comments in the comment box below. And uh, don't forget to ring the little bell. You absolutely want to do that, okay? The last thing you want to do when you're pouring, okay? Always pour to the ladies, okay? Your server should be pouring for you anyway, but just in case, if you wind up pouring, pour to the ladies, make sure they get their wine first. Gentlemen, you're last, okay? Um, that's I'm a gentleman, well, I'm a man anyway. Uh, so I always speak from that perspective. I hope I'm not offending anybody, but um, you, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So ladies first, then the men, then the person pouring should be last. And of course, it's by consumption. So if someone's drinking quicker and you're in charge of the bottle, then obviously keep pouring. One more thing. Once you've come to the end of the bottle, and I have not come to the end of the bottle, the inclination is to tip the thing over and get as much, that last couple of drops of wine out. That is a big no-no. That is telling someone that you have no idea what you're doing, okay? Anybody that knows anything about wine knows that there's something called sediment on the bottom of the wine. Little crystals of you know, wine, they're fine. There's nothing that, you know, they're, they're not harmful to you, but they don't taste very good. Nobody wants sand in their mouth. I mean, if, if you ever have a Turkish coffee, that graininess at the bottom, uh, you don't like that. Nobody does. So you want to leave like maybe this much wine at the bottom, just the last maybe, you know, quarter of an ounce, half an ounce. Okay. That will make sure the sediment doesn't go anybody's glass. Okay. That is not cool when you're the host or when you're someone that's, you know, trying to be nice and poor for people and you dip the whole bottle over and you get every last drop out of here, congratulations. Meanwhile, now someone's got a mouthful of sand. Okay, so to recap. So we want to look at the wine, make sure the color looks right. Okay, it's not too brown if it's a young wine. We wanna taste, we wanna smell it rather. We wanna smell it aggressively. And then you want to taste it. And when you taste it, wow, I'm tasting about five different things right now. You really want to swirl it around all the parts of your mouth, all the flavor profiles. Kind of get a chance to get touched and felt and experienced. Okay, and then finally, make sure you don't pour the very, very last part of the bottle. You want to leave it out, like I said, maybe a half an ounce, quarter of an ounce left in the bottom of the bottle so there's no sediment in any of glasses. So those are the things you have to do to look cool, to look like you have some style while you're doing your wine thing. I'm George, Wine by the Bay TV. Thanks for watching. Watch the next video that's coming up soon and we'll see you again next time.